sorry. All right, that was a fail. So we're on an A road here in the United Kingdom. We're about to be testing the navigation on autopilot. So there we go. So as you see, it took the exit pretty smoothly. Oh, that was a bit weird. I should keep my hands on the wheel there. And now navigation on autopilot turned off. And we... That's strange. Okay, and now we're turning on the just basic autopilot. It won't actually take this, this little turn we need here. So this is the basic version of autopilot and as you see it just basically sticks to within the lines. It does use the auto steer function to keep you on the road. Luckily there's like no one here so I'm able to do this you know without any worries. And of course as you saw you do need to apply certain movements to the wheel otherwise it will start complaining. So as you may have seen, when I was coming onto the highway, it didn't properly adjust to the lane. Now I'm thinking it's because I didn't apply turning force to the wheel. That might be the reason, although it didn't tell me to do that. However, when it was going towards the end of slip road, it didn't move onto the side of the road. So if I didn't, you know, interfere, I don't know what would have happened. Maybe it would have driven straight into the grass area or might not have, or maybe it would have merged, but I didn't want to take the risk. Autopilot functionality is still not as what it you know you'd expect it to be, especially in a Tesla. But I think it's just mainly because of EU regulations. If you just look at the autopilot settings here, whenever you have this customized nav on auto, now I don't know if this was removed on an update, but when I saw a couple of videos and some photos online, there was a a button here that would actually tell you to disable the apply slight turn or it was something like let the car do it itself change lanes and overtake people but in the EU of course they don't allow that or at least they won't allow that for quite some time we're still governed by EU law as of now I mean it's the fourth or something of January whilst we're still in the EU and leaving at the end of the month there's still a transition period where we will be governed under the EU for another year however it might not even make a difference because drivers in Norway, and Norway isn't in the EU, they have the same thing as every other Tesla owner in the EU. And it's because of, I just don't think Tesla differentiate between countries that are in the EU versus aren't, like Switzerland, another one. So I think every Tesla piece of software in the, in the EU will remain the same until they change their laws. But we have seen a couple of demonstrations of autopilot and its functionality and yeah, I mean it works but not to the extent as the guys in the US have it. Now we're actually about to enter a, a slip road here so let's go ahead and see what happens. I mean you guys saw another clip of it but uh, oh. okay all right all right that was a fail. So as you see it didn't even want to I mean it did it turned on the indicator then it just kind of gave up and kept me on the highway. And of course it doesn't know what roundabouts are yet and I don't think it will for a long time. I don't know about anyone else, but before I even purchased the, the Tesla, I was under the assumption that the autopilot functions were actually not the same as the United States. Of course we know that it's never going to be like that, at least for now, but I thought at least it had the basic functionality. So now we're going to test the entrance to the highway again. Now as we saw, there was a bit of a problem with it last time. But it should turn on the indicator here and ask me to... There we go. Oh no, I have to do it. Okay. There we go. I'm just I'm just leaving my hands off the wheel just so you can see what it's doing. But uh, by law, you obviously have to keep it on the wheel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that was pretty smooth. And I mean, somewhat decent. Hope you guys did enjoy those clips of the way the autopilot works on and off the highways. I will be coming to you guys with some more videos soon, as, as soon as I can. I've got some more planned, like um, the auto park uh, feature. I also want to explain pretty much how I got the car 
and how easy it is for a young person in the United Kingdom to get a, a Tesla. And I also wanted to make a video for the viewers that might be in Ukraine because I obviously drove to and from Ukraine and there's not much Tesla info in Ukraine. So if you guys are interested in that too, that will be coming. And some more, some, some other things like the games and all sorts of features that Tesla have on some hidden features if you guys didn't know. Once again, thank you. Sorry the video ended kind of abruptly. I just wanted to give a final little clip saying goodbye and more videos coming soon. So thanks for watching.